The technical challenge was twofold. It was to cover all the situations with the sensors, with the algorithms, with the driving situations, which is very complicated. And at the same time, making it very, very easy and simple uh, for the driver, the customer, uh, the person being chauffeured. On one button and just voice commands, making the vehicle drive and do what you want. At the same time, in the background, it must be able to cover all conceivable situations. And that was the technically tricky part. And we've been working on this in Volkswagen, not for the last two or three years. This is a one-year project in itself, but we've been working on this for more than 20 years. Cedric, as we see it here, is a show car, is a vision, is a car that we show as the Volkswagen Group. Uh, ultimately, it will see production in one of the brands and being used either for customers as their own car, own mobility, or in shared car services, shared mobility. This will happen within the next five to 10 years. We will be launching uh, with the uh, ID uh, in about 2020, uh, which shares the technical basis as a car, and uh, this will come somewhat after it, depending entirely on how the business models for such vehicles develop. Well, in principle, we have all the building blocks in place. We have the sensors, we have different sensor principles on here. We have the algorithms that build the world picture in which the car navigates. We also have the algorithms that drive the car. Uh, however, we still have to um, add to situations and rules and uh, algorithms for behaving in certain driving situations. We also have to develop things further for reliability and uh, safety. And we have to make especially the sensors a lot cheaper so that they can be sold in a golf class car.